ninja and all this kind of thing, even modern day soldiers, they wear armor. You're not going to punch and kick someone wearing armor. I mean, not if you're smart. I mean, stupid people do stupid shit. But as a martial artist, we try to do things that are a little bit more intelligent along the lines of the, the, the martial arts. So you're not going to punch and kick somebody wearing armor. That doesn't make a lot of sense. So you want to try to take them to the ground and then break them. If you break their arm, they can't hit you with it, nor can they use a weapon. When you do grappling, like this whole idea, everyone in the modern day, people get so excited for ground fighting. And I understand it, you know, people like to compete. People like to grapple and sweat and, and, and win and, and, and learn that kind of stuff. And I, I think it's wonderful. I think grappling is a great way to compete against another person. And you don't have to take the same punches and kicks and the impact that you see in kickboxing and boxing and so on and so forth. And so it's a great way to compete against another person and not get, you know, not have to take the blows, right? The impact. However, in a real street fight, there's never going to be a time that you're in this position at first. Never forget that. In a real fight, it always starts standing up. And if you're good, it should end that way. It should end with you staying standing and them on the fucking ground, right? That's the way it should be. You're pumping gas, someone tries to steal your shit, you knock them out, you drive away. It shouldn't be you pumping gas, someone tries to take your shit, you hit them, they didn't like it, and then you're grappling on the fucking concrete for 20 minutes trying to get a goddamn arm bar. That is not, <laughs> that is not the fucking what we should be trying to accomplish, okay? It's absolutely not. This school bases itself in self-defense.